Hello and welcome back. We're on Stuart's channel. What is it again? FDJ FDJ KK DJF. It's easy to remember. When you know how. That's going to be our new catchphrase. Well, um, if you haven't watched part one, watching on my channel, it's Valid Gaming Official. I know it's crap, but someone or do you know someone actually taken Valid Gaming as well? Because someone who who um, was in charge of the YouTube side before I joined um, left, and they wouldn't give them the uh, password. Or the the channel. Yeah, the channel password. They 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 just took the name and they they, they wouldn't give it back. So so that's why we had to make a second one. So yeah. Apart from that, let's let's get on with the game. So what what have we got? We've basically got um, Scissor Man killing Helen while well, trying to kill Helen while she's uh, sleeping. Uh, they've killed Rose. They've killed Baker, and we're on the hunt. And we're now going to the uh, municipal uh, metropolitan library to see uh, Mr. Sully. And uh, Waternoose, who's his <laughs> boss. Um, maybe, maybe Mike. Mike Wazowski. I was thinking, I was, Mike Wazowski! That's, that's the scissor man. Oh, God, wouldn't, wouldn't it be just like, <laughs> hey, uh, just, just a green blob. My, my sound isn't working from my headphones. It's, it's Edward. Yay, he's my favourite character. Well, oh, what, can you remember the voices? I know you do tag it's it. It's boring but. at the hotel! Hmm. You right, love? No, no she, she's, she's not. Really talking, she's, not he? she's not butch anymore, is she? She's um. Her balls. She just got. Up yeah, my elegance in my voice. I don't know about that. <laughs> this no. is a nicer looking library than the the place we were in before. Everything looks quite well kept and. Yeah, their their computers aren't smoked, damaged, <laughs> and they haven't. Got, can you remember RM computers? Did you have RM computers in your school? I had like, we had an Acorn computer. Oh god, that, that, that's that's going back. How old are you? <laughs> was that was that running MS DOS or? That that was Acorn OS. It was. <gasps> yeah, he's not blue. <laughs> he looks kind of like a fat controller. Hello, Helen. The it's fat controller in the island of Sodor. It's been a long time. I've heard about what happened to you. How terrible. Yes. By the way, Mr. Sullivan. Yes, I have heard. Oh, well then, you wouldn't mind unzipping your trousers. Oh, that, that, that was a completely different I, thing you've heard about. I will give you my manhood, so you can <laughs> go to the <laughs> reading room. Oh, well, if you win... You know, if it is private reading view, Mr. Sullivan, I'm sure I can attend to your every need. <laughs> oh, Helen. Reference material as you please. The reading room is right next door. Oh, and... The statue? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Professor Barton left it with me. Please come pick it up on your way out. I'm not going to give it to you now. Yeah, you fucking lazy boss. He's in the other next room. Just go into that room and just get it, you fucking... That's On the Isle of the Solar, the fat that... controller was being sucked <laughs> up by Helen. That's that's his secret That's his secret harem back there. He's like, no, no, you have to leave. I have to get the girls out first. <laughs> oh, the ladies of the harem of the court of King Caracatus were just, just passing by. by. Oh, the ladies of the harem of the court of King Caracatus. Can you remember the, all that? No. Oh, the fascinating witches put the scintillating stitches in the breeches of the boys who put the powder on the noses of the faces of the ladies of the harem of the court of King Caracatus. Is it too late? No, if you want to take a picture of the fascinating witches of the scintillating stitches and put the pictures in the boys and put the powder on the thingy, that, yep. you're too late. Because they've right. just passed by. I thought, I thought you said you could go in there. Yeah, we can. Oh, why did she, why did she not go in? Because she, uh, she was unlocking it. Ah, uh, the boom, re boom, boom, reading boom, rainbow. Boom, 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 boom. It's really hard, hard to to talk while uh, this is really catchy tunes going on. I just hope there's something here that will explain the scissor man. I don't know why she's American. I don't know. You know what? Um, after playing this, when I went to sleep, I actually dreamt of Norway. I dreamt Norway. I had a Nor Norwegian conversation with someone, ah. and and there, there, I think there was yeah there was some like kind of scissor man esque in, in my dream. I can't really remember because you know I don't have a dream book and I can't remember. After about ten minutes of having a dream, I can't even remember anything. But um, but yeah, it was it was really strange. I was having like a scissor man clock. I had my first lucid dream the other day. Mm -hmm. I was 
Yeah. It was it was really weird. I was um I was just, just I'm trying to play while explaining this. Um, I'm trying to read, but um, there's, there's not a lot going on. Um, books related to England. Up England. Up. England, England, England. But oh, watch out! There's gonna be a scissor um, man in the book. <laughs> Laws of Northern England. This is. Oh. The library's now closing. But yeah, this, this lucid dream was like. Um, these girls tried to beat me up on the landing, like just outside of my room, and I let them just so I could phone the police and say they assaulted me first. Um, but yeah, they threw me down the stairs, and then I was. They ran away, and they ran away in a speedboat, and they went to Paris. Did and I followed them to Paris, and um, they were doing heroin. And I was chatting them up, and I was like, well, you didn't really want to beat me up. You wanted to fuck me. I was like, I don't know why I was having this kind of dream. And I was like, yeah, yeah, right. And I kind of seduced them into staying there while the police came and arrested them. But the fact is that during that time, I was covered in heroin and, like, all the dust. And I was actually scared of coming back home just in case of the customs. But I thought, this is so weird, it must be a dream. And I kind of had a lucid dream, and I just controlled the whole thing through. It was really weird. Yeah, what you were saying? That, that, that sounds roughly like a dream. I, I, I was going to say I, I had a dream once that um, the housekeeper old guy from Tomb Raider was following me around everywhere with his little silver tray. <laughs> you just hear him in the distance going... <laughs> <laughs> did, did, you, did you go into the fridge and then jump over him and then you have to press the button? Oh, right, we've got a cutscene. So, oh. What are you doing? What's the time, Mr. Get Wolf? No. It's death time! That's, that's not how you check the time. <laughs> oh, God. Sully. <laughs> actually, that minute actually took quite long. Oh, here he is. Shit. So that's, that's Mr. Sullivan Toast. He's not going to win the scare of the year. <laughs> Mr. Scissorman's going to make scare of the year. Because it last time. I think I think when, when, I, when I edit this, I'm going to put... Um, uh, a, like a slow motion like effect on, on every scare that we have. Oh, here we go. He's coming down the stairs. Let's whack him around the head with the lamp. It's a quite a beefy lamp. Oh, you should, yeah, it's, it's like proper nineties, isn't it? You know. You, oh, take that hundred watt light bulb. Urgh! You know these are illegal now. Yeah, fucking energy he's, saving. He's fucking out cold. Look at him. Edward's voice? That is Edward's voice? He can still be here. Sounds like a pussy. Must be that Edward. Such a... Why... Why is his mother letting him run around this, uh... This library? The dead of night, anyway. I don't know. What's that? Um... This... It's the life. I d how on earth? I mean, she she's really got her head in that book. I mean, Fifty Shades of Grey must be really good if she's she's just like she couldn't even be bothered to take it off the shelf, could she? Oh shit! 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 Oh come on! Come on! I wasn't expecting that. Come on! Right. This is the only really hi hiding place that you can hide in the whole library. It's just under the desk. Surely you know. Helen. After a few times, he... Helen has a lot of experience being under the desk. Yeah, especially well. Well, I mean, she she obviously fancied Mr. Sullivan that enough. She's like, so so she she got what she came for. She wanted to go underneath the desk, but unfortunately, Mr. Sullivan isn't here. He's, he's dead. She couldn't really give him head, but she could give him his head back. But it just wouldn't fit. <laughs> is that is that? That's a terrible joke. That's something funny. It's pretty terrible. But then again. I mean, look, look at these, like, hexagonal or octagonal seats. I mean, they're completely unergonomic, especially for... Anyway, you're saying? <laughs> a shapely backside. Well, all the staff we've seen so far in the library are dead. So, I don't think anyone's going to be manning it for a while. I mean, you just... Have, have, have you been in the library re recently? Oh, I, I don't want to go to the computer. I want to go to the... Room back. That, that's what confused me a, a lot when when I when I first got stuck on this level, and I kept I wanted to go through there, but then it also automatically went to the register. But serve. What's that poster for? 
there's nothing. It's kind of a, kind of a depressing poster, isn't it? Serve. You must <laughs> serve the library. I bet everyone has gone. Yeah, yeah. I I suspect they've either gone home or they're having a good read at a book. Or checking the time. Oh. Come on, I want. I knew there was a screwdriver here. Oh. I thought I was going to be really clever and try and get the screwdriver first, but let's let's find Edward. Let's find Edward because that's the um. Was giving an audio cue. Can I have a sip of your drink? I, I just I just need to I just need to wet my whistle. Hoy <sighs> fit. Oh, pardon me. Yeah, there's still no, on the. Uh, there was nothing you needed that in that bookcase, was there? Um, hopefully not. Um, but no, what, what, for some reason I, I can't remember. We we had to find the um. That that librarian the, the, woman really didn't have much luck. She got killed by the scissor man and then she had a bookcase fall on her. She was already dead and she got even worse stuff happened to her. Helen? That is Edward's voice and it's coming from inside that room. Good, go away. Well, he must have been hiding like in a completely different place to how scissor man was because we literally was just came from. He was, he was turning the clock. He was, he was making... Edward. Edward. Do you think they got this clock free with Axe of Sun Life uh, <laughs> credentials? Where's, where's Get that? this free clock! Oh, oh, God, God, quick! Oh, you got it again! Oh, God. Oh. He's back. <laughs> Get this free Parker pen with Axe of Sun Life insurance. And in case you die, your loved ones were given a lump sum. <laughs> Have you. Can you remember them at first? Do. do you know that instead of the Parker pen, they're actually giving away like DVD players? Because obviously, DVD players are. Yeah, you know. and even more time, timeless gift than a pen. Yeah, you know, you're, you're gonna, you're gonna find a lot of use for a DVD player. Oh, let's let's see if I can use the. Uh... Are you gonna hide on top of the bookshelf? <laughs> oh shit! He's, he's gonna walk right into this one. Oh, go on, go on, push up. it over, can't. Oh. <laughs> It looks like he didn't do a fuck all to him. Yeah, he Especially like if it is aluminum or aluminium. Um, he, looks, he looks pretty out of it. <laughs> now, where do I need to go? I need, sh 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 should I find this statue? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, where's, where's, where's our delicious cabbage statue? We need to get it back. We need to return it to its rightful place in the office. See, his computer it. actually looks slightly more modern. He's got a Macintosh. Yeah, this is libraries. You know, they they, they just make their the money off the fines. I, I once... Um, I went, I went, the it the was image like, of Mr. Sullivan amateurly... At the <laughs> keyboard <laughs> comes to mind. That's a bit mean. <laughs> you just saw the guy get his head cut off oh, by I a just, clock. Just, I just want to see him, you know, just just in his office. Have, an, have, have a vision of him with no head bashing the keyboard. <laughs> Can't type. She's got this big smirk on her face. Oh. Alright. Well, we'll have to find a key somewhere. Let's have a look. Well, let's go get that screwdriver since I know it's probably unlocked by now. This what? The screwdriver? Yeah, it's um... Like certain events will only happen once you've got another event and I think I, I kind of skipped. You know, it has been 10 years, let, let's say, for argument's sake, that I've actually played this game and I'm very lucky to... Oh, my, my phone's still on. Let's, let's throw it over there so it doesn't, we don't get any... When was the last time you actually had that happen? Um, do you know that actually... Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, if anyone knows, please put it in the comments. But it only happens on 2G and that's what the old things were. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we'll shit. What's happened there? Is it going to be Scissor Man? Well, well, I want to look through this drawer first. Um, it's, it's it's to do with the 2G, and when they made it, they didn't realise that actually happened, and then they couldn't really change the the, the thingy, my bob, and you know, the watchamajig. So, uh, the watchamajig. Yeah, the thingy, my bob, and the watchamajig, call it, uh, just, just happened to do that. Um, still no screwdriver. Everything seems normal, except for the chair that was rolling around. Yeah, um, let's go inspect this. Edward! Oh, God. You 
Fucking yellow belly wanker. Come on. Follow me! By Melanin's build! It's Edward that spends the time under the desk, apparently. <laughs> I'll teach you everything I know. <laughs> He's gone straight from being under Look, a desk to I'll, going I'll, under I'll, another desk. You pretend to be me, I'll pretend to be Mr. Sullivan. <laughs> <laughs> But I don't know why, like, Laws of England, Barrow's Mansion, because nothing was mentioned in the first one that Barrow's was English, was it? Because... Uh, let me think. No, I, um... Miss Mary... Uh, I don't... No, it wasn't like there was a giant Union Jack anywhere in the house. I certainly would have remembered that. No, because you had, um... Yeah, because the, the actual mansion was in... Norway, wasn't it? Wasn't it? Uh, that's, that's a good question. A police siren is heard. Someone must have called the police. Some some poor person outside just got a head fall on them. The door cannot be opened from the front. Many policemen are swarming around outside looking for a way in. There are so many people just on the other side of the door. <laughs> Oh, my, leg, my legs are cramping up. <gasps> oh, fuck. Oh, that really hurt. I've been locked in. I've been locked in! High up! High up! I'm sure the police could just drive through there, but... What in there? I was going to say, how did they know that th shit was going on? But then again, a head just in the, in the middle of the road. Yeah. But let's get this fucking screwdriver. Oh god, can't you don't tell me after I bet everyone has gone home. Yeah the... I know there's a screwdriver around here somewhere. Why are you being mean? Is it in the lockers? I have no idea. I just Okay, maybe they're not lockers. Yeah. No, they're just shelves. Maybe that's where read Edward that. was. I did read that as Flies line the shelves. <laughs> to the files. Loan cards? No, you don't know. No, no. Oh, it's a fucking game. I'm going to have to pick up the statue. But where's the key? Where's the you key? You need the collection key. Actually, it might be on Mr. Sullivan's desk. Or on his body. But his body wasn't there. But you, you when you went up there last time, there was a... A kung fu chain and a scissor man. Yeah, I don't. I that was that's never explained. I mean, uh, when you go to um, the other place, um, what's it called? Uh, Nick's is it Rick or Nick? Rick, um, the butler. He he's got a mask and that does uh, come to life and try and kill you, but that's like the only real. Um, a supernatural thing that will happen, but I think that's that version of of weirdness. I have no fucking idea. But it, it, it builds atmosphere. What's there are envelopes and documents relating to multiple personalities on the desk? The sender of these envelopes is Professor Barton. Professor Barton. You I really mean, shouldn't look inside. Yeah. I wonder if there's anything else. What about the the bin? Oh. Oh. A key? It's inside the drawer. Ah, oh, collection room. Here we go. I'm sure the collection room is in the back. No, it's not there. So it's just... Is it hot in here? Yeah? It is, actually. Yeah. How'd you get that on your shoulder? That's a little... Got a little... little I, mark. I just... I live a dangerous life, you know? <laughs> dodging bullets. Fighting crime. You probably just walked into a wardrobe or something. Look, I, I don't like the way you, you seem to think I'm clumsy. Mm -hmm. Of which he is very proud. What's Mr. Sullivan has shown me this time it's pitch black times. inside. Didn't there used to be an aquarium here? I could use the light from it. An aquarium? Ah, I can kind of see an aquarium. Let's turn it on. Oh, oh! Uh, you know, last last time I played this, the um, Scissor Man was in the aquarium. 
Is that is that a photograph of Bart Simpson on the wall? <laughs> you got kind of a square head. There's the the cabbage. Get it. Yep, I'll get the uh, the old red cabbage. I'm just I'm just get an ancient sword. <laughs> Strangely shaped parts and other valuable items. There's it it wouldn't let me um move off the no no. Okay, what? Come on. It's it's a, a paranormal aura <laughs> being given off by this this the statue. That's the statue, really. I was clicking over here. Mm. Oh, you're terrible. Thank goodness. It's a pretty. There it is. You now have the statue. It's a pretty scary. Since I have what I came for, now all I have to do is find a way out. And you have to save Edward. Don't don't forget about Edward. Edward, the fucking yellow belly wanker. I'm going to try and cut down the amount of swearing because there are children present. There are? <laughs> yeah. I don't, I, I don't I, know if you're talking about the people who watch my videos, but that's not nice. They're they're not children. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm talking about the ones that have been cut up and that are underneath my patio. Well, they're not going to hear anything, are they? Uh, I mean, you know, my, my other name is is uh, Fred West. <laughs> Do you know, uh, um, an interesting story, my, my mum's... Friends, um, because she used to live in uh, Gloucestershire, um, actually got killed by Fred and Rose West. Yeah, um, and that's she's she's got an obsession. She used to ki collect like serial killers monthly or something. It was like a um, was that a, a publication? Serial yeah, it was killers a, monthly. Yeah, well, or something was that, like was that. that Targeted at serial killers, or no, it was it was all about you know stuff like Mary Hindley, but which I do look like um, if I wear a wig. Uh, funny enough, uh, we're back in this room again, looking for the screwdriver. Oh uh, come on! I don't have I to. I think I think you're lying about the screwdriver. Surely she would have seen it by <laughs> now. Unless I needed to go talk to Edward. Maybe Edward swallowed it, shoved it in his pocket. Oh. I know there's a, I know there's a screwdriver somewhere. No, no, you see, everything seems normal here. There are no obnoxious <laughs> screwdrivers, nothing out of the ordinary. Just our little clerical office with our giant printer. Yeah, so this um Syracuse monthly thing, it'll just go on about, you know, the different mergers and, and stuff like that. But she she had the obsession. I think that's because, you know, her friend was killed. And so um, yeah, I, I, I picked these up when I was about 10, and this is about the same time I was playing this game as well, so I I really, you know, love the whole, oh, not mythos, but the kind of, kind of story behind it and the, the psychology, and I just love anything to do about serial killers. I mean, I'm always watching uh, Most Evil and stuff like that on Discovery Channel, and WOMEN WHO KILL! Well, I guess I guess this is one whole new aspect that this game has over the um, the original Clock Tower. This whole crime investigation, even if only him, <laughs> he must escape from here. Well, so tell him to fuck off. <laughs> tell him to go check the time. I may have to look at the vent. A vent. It is covered with a wire screen fastened with screws. That is, that's it. Edward could fit through. He's small. If I could just get the screen off. Use your boot. Oh, no. Use the statue. Beat it off. <laughs> no, I'm going to have to go back and find the bloody pliers. Uh, not pliers. Screwdriver. Well, I was going to say scissors. You know, there's, there's a fellow who could, who could probably help out. <laughs> yeah, excuse me. Can you just, you just get these for me? Thanks. All right. So you're gonna get. Um, I'm. I'm just gonna see if the the screwdriver's anywhere around here. You got the key from in the desk, though, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. I was oh, archaeology books. I don't know. I'm just gonna have, have a look because it might be random because we do know that. Get some fish. Um, Get a delicious fish. Thou shalt have a fish. Can you remember that Young's thou advert? Thou shalt have a fishy. On a little dishy, thou shalt have a fishy. 
When the boat comes in, thought, thought, dance, little fishy, dance. I thought that said there are many artifacts of Mr. Sullivan. <laughs> and like, there's lots of little sculptures just <laughs> lying on the table. Tootin' Khan Sullivan. He's a collectible. <laughs> Collect all seven Mr. Is Sullivan. Is he like a Yu-Gi-Oh card? Is he, is he going to be... He's going to be a headless horseman later in the game. Right, I, I've... I've I've happened to just do this. I've I've just got off my iPad. Uh, other um, devices are available, and I've just had a look at screwdriver library clock tower, and it does say it's in this room in the administrator's office. So unless I'm doing something wrong here, answers on a postcard, please. Um, but then again, if you do put an answer in the uh, comments below, I would have actually finished this because. You know, I don't upload a Let's Play until I've actually finished the game. You, you, you could, um... Apart from the antechamber, but we, we don't... Oh, look! A screwdriver magically appeared because we had a look at the vent. Oh, <laughs> oh I don't want to... Oh, oh, well, my other leg's going dead now. Oh. God, you're such a wuss. I know. Oh, it's because I've, I've had them cross-legged for about an hour. Right. We've got the screwdriver. Now we can just get rid of yep. Edward. We're going to stuff him in the vent. He's going to go down to the furnace, and that'll be it. Game over. Hopefully. But we still haven't solved the mystery of Cicero, man. Maybe Professor Barton. Oh, no. No, no. It's, it's God. God's is going to... Teach! Got, he's going to help us out. We haven't really well, seen this. It, it doesn't, doesn't seem <laughs> possible. They go on. There were so many people here a moment ago. Where, there where wasn't. Are they? No. I don't remember <laughs> there that. Was, there was Edward. There, there was Edward and there was. Um. Uh. Jezebel. The librarian. Yeah. And she she was just one day from retirement. <laughs> oh, how do you. What <laughs> Mr. Sullivan? I mean, she just transferred from a library and got lambing. And. Yeah, it was it was a it was her last day. She was ready to go back with her husband, her th eighty children in her lovely little council flat. Did you, did you hear that? that this stupid woman, right, who like belongs on the Jeremy Carl show. She completely trashed her house and complained to the council. They're now building her another one. Absolutely building her ridiculous. a house. They're building her a house because she trashed the other one. Because she hasn't done an honest day work in her life. Well, why would you? The council's going to build you a house. Exactly. It's political correctness gone mad. So that's it. Now that Edward's away, we can party. Yep. We're going to try and... Try and escape. Try and escapade. Yeah. This library is in kind of a worse state than when we arrived. We really haven't done it much good. Since we got here, um, all the staff have died. Um, we've knocked over a bookcase. The clock's probably broken. Oh. oh. That was a big clock if it did break. Hey, teach. teach! What's going on? <laughs> What's going on? Hang in there. Teach! Hang in there! We we have decided that um hey. Gots is going to sound like target. Yeah. There's been a multiple I I can't I can't do an amazing target, but we're gonna we're gonna save it. We're gonna we're gonna try and make it the best. Tiger, what side of uh, Scotland are you from? I've never asked you. North, most no, northern, east, southwest. No, no, no. Or right in the middle. West. Hashtag at exclamation mark. All right, teach. You can go on home now. Why is that? Uh. Because there's been a. Another murder. No, he hasn't <laughs> said. He hasn't even said anything. Oh, yet. He's... God! I've learned something interesting about Scissor Man. You've got something. Yes, I know where the Barrow's Castle is. The Barrow's Castle? Yes, it's where all the Barrow's family used to live before they immigrated here. No, it's emigrated here. Go well, on. Actually, no, they emigrated from... They emigrated from immigrated to... Yeah, so... We'll give them. I looked further and found a historical account saying that a monster was born. In the castle! That would be, uh, Dan. They must have somehow killed... Good well, point. So I'm planning to go there. Are you crazy? It's way... 
too dangerous. As long as he's alive, I can't read the rest of my dialogue options. Dot, you're dot, you're dot. going too fast. All right. I'm not One clicking thing. it. I'm not pressing the X. It's just doing it automatically. I'm going with you. All right. Guts. Eclipse. Ellipse. Black screen. That was so dramatic. Now we're gonna have to find let's, our crew. Let's let's assemble. I think Jennifer said something about a newspaper reporter called Nolan. Yeah, we already met Nolan. He was he was um, Christopher Nolan, the the, the <laughs> famed director. <laughs> and he's he's obviously shooting locations for the next Batman film. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Miss Helen, you say you you have good timing. You say? How so? Well, we've learned a bit of information. That you are going to England. Did you find a lead? You say? <laughs> How did you find out? Well, it was easy. The assistant inspector in charge of the case is. Going to England. <laughs> okay, so you just made that assumption. Oh, is it? So it's pretty easy, see? Well, I'll be damned. That's it. How about it? We may join you? I don't mind, but I don't know if Guts will like it. He doesn't really like, you know, window seats. He prefers much of the aisle, but, you know, with your friend Tim here, he seems like he take up most of the room, so we don't really want to use it on expenses. They're definitely going to charge him for two seats. Yeah. That's for sure. They're, they're <laughs> buying your flight, you know. Uh, Alright. See you there for first thing in the morning. We'll be there. I'll see you in the morning. Tim doesn't really say much. I think he only no, has one he's, line. He's, he's quiet. We will. He, we, he's... Well... Apart from... I think later on he, he has a line. He said, he said something at the beginning. Didn't he? He, he, he yeah, he just himself. he just said one thing, saying, "Hey, I'm Tim." Oh, I think I'm meant to be doing the male voices, aren't I? Yeah, but you know what I'm saying? I, I, I've started, so I'll, I'll finish. I'm like a mastermind. Oh, really? You can do Beth. No, no, you 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 do a better woman. You are the, you are a better woman. We're not going for fun. Oh, well, was that it? That was short. I'd... Well. Jennifer wants to be worried. Let's actually talk to Jennifer because we haven't actually seen her and she's like a main part. So she's at the university? Yeah, she's at the university uh, halls. There's nothing what? me for do here. Well, that was, oh, that's that was, yeah. <laughs> I, was, I was intrigued. There was, there was so much in there. The library? Well, that went well last time. The general public still should not be allowed to enter. Yeah, but well, we're we, gonna do it anyway. Yeah, we don't. We're not the general public. We don't need to listen to this shit. Look, the time still. What um, thing where, he died at? Where's this? So, is there? Should not be some blood kind of trailing down the clock. Maybe a a fat man's head. Professor Barton Harris. We have just been to the scene of the murder. What, what a, a terrible thing to have happen. Yes, one good thing came out of it. I now know. Where the Barrows used to live in England before emigrating here. Or oh, immig- no. I immigrant. Yeah, fuck it. I suppose that's where his home is. I find some clues about him there. Who's, who's the other guy? That's Harris, the guy you spoke to like- So, what are you going to do now? I would like to go to England tomorrow, may I? Hmm. On university expenses, All right, of course. then. But our research staff will go with you. We may discover some material that will be important in the future. She's already been inviting tons mm. of people to come along. Before she even asked if it was all right. <laughs> right. Um. Let Let's go. Let's go see how Edward is. You know, oh. just, just make sure he got back to the hotel safely. God, look at this! Is like such a flashy hotel. I mean, it's completely made in the 70s. It was just brown concrete. You know, a bit like the Barbican. The Barbican's a yes. complete eyesore. Yes, thank you, Mrs. Thank you all very much for Maxwell. Do you make a good coffee? Because Maxwell House. Yeah. By the way, we are thinking we should go back to the Granite Orphanage. The Granite Orphanage. Down the I, Granite Mines. I don't think Edward should be staying anywhere that might be in danger. Might be danger. Oh, I see. 
Oh, we are back. Oh, fucking hell, I was catching flies. To England? Yes, we're going to a castle named the Barrow's Castle. We are hoping to find clues about Scissor Man. May I go too? Edward, what are you saying? He will probably kill me too if I stay here. I want to go along and help. Edward, that. Please, Kay. Well, all right then. <laughs> I'm trying to do this while you're in Please, please. Please walk after him. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. blah. Well, well, all right. We'll be in the first flight tomorrow morning. Yay! I've been trying to do that now. Fucking hell, it's cost a bloody fortune. You'll have to get him that, like, five yeah. months in advance. Yeah, you can't even do that. Let's, um... Got to be at the university. Oh. What, what? Didn't we go to the university? Uh, yeah, I've got to go to the university again. He doesn't stay still, Gots. He's, he's kind of just, he's everywhere. He's, he's got to be everywhere. He just, he's not held down. Yes, I was able to get the statue. Nice gams, lady. And I found a clue. Blues, clues, blues, clues. Sit down in a thinking chair and think. Did Jennifer... Think, think. Did, did, did Jennifer <laughs> change since the last time we saw her? Uh, no, no, she's just been the same. Right, the inspector told me about going to the Barrow's Castle. She looks like that woman for EastEnders. You're like not my mother! She looks like Carmen San Diego. Suddenly we've got ten people going where, to where, England. Where on earth is Carmen San Diego? Criminy. This is supposed to be serious. Criminy. Business. <laughs> I've contacted the police in England. And I've also arranged a rental car. From the airport. Thank you, Guts. We're coming to get you, Scissor Man! You better watch out, Scissor Man. You better not cry. You've, you've got a whole team of these people coming to get you. Now, where are we going? Oslo, Oslo Airport. Airport. Is that the plane? Jinx. Is that the plane? I, it's, it's weird. Stavanger, Bergen. Edinburgh. Must be Heathrow. <laughs> the sun's going down. Or was that Nolan? The sun's going down, hey? Yeah, that was Nolan. I better Nolan. See, they're just taking what? this, this the terrible the, route. This is roughly what Britain's like. There are no roads. It's just trees. <laughs> I think th I think this is this is more... You know, even the road... I, I'd say it's more like Cornwall area, because like Sorry. even the Romans didn't even want to go there. They got to as far as Ditch. Devon and went, fuck. Have you seen Harris and Edward? Go on, I can't even find them. Kay is looking all over for them, but she can't find them anywhere. Oh no, ellipse exclamation mark. Jennifer's missing too. They can't be missing. The castle. Hurry! To the Crystal Dome! Will you stop the last scenario, please? Do, 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 do. Three, two... Oh no, it's Gladiators, isn't it? I'm getting mixed up get with my, um, get out of here. my 90s game shows. Teach! What's wrong, Teach? Everyone's waiting. Oh. 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 Earthquakes don't happen in Britain. We just get rain. I don't understand of a flash flood. Oh, what happened? It looks like something took a bite out of that pavement there. <laughs> Om nom nom pavement. Right, well, this is the last scenario, and it's going to take quite long, so we're going to end this here, and we're going to probably uh, probably take about an hour, so we'll have another one on my channel, and then the finale will be back on this channel. So, with our parting words... Fuck off.